What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to format your Xbox One hard drive to work on your Windows PC again. This can also um, allow you to save clips directly onto your hard drive from your Xbox as that needs to be formatted as NTFS on your um, Windows PC. So I've gone ahead and plugged in my hard drive and uh, nothing shows up in uh, this PC. I only have these three hard drives, not my actual drive. So I'm just going to click on start and type in administrative tools. You'll see Windows administrative tools. Um, inside of that, we're going to go to computer management. And then we're going to go to storage. In uh, storage, you only have one option, which is disk management. And that's where we're going to find our hard drive that's not initialized. Um, so we do want to choose that hard drive. and um, we can just leave it as a GPT. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And it has initialized this hard drive. But the space still is unallocated, so you won't see anything in your PC yet. What you need to do is you need to right click on that and go to New Simple Volume and hit Next. And you want to um, basically set this to the max number it'll let you set it to, which is default. But you want to make sure you're using all the space. So this is a four terabyte drive. So there's 381 um, gigabytes basically uh, on this. I think that's right. No, 3,000 gigabytes. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's four terabytes total, 3.8 um, terabytes basically. So we're, we're going to hit next and accept that. We'll sign it a drive letter. So CDEF is fine. Um, you can choose any drive letter you'd like. And then we're going to format it in TFS and call this 4 terabyte drive. And you can do a regular format by unchecking this. I'm just going to do a quick format because I just had Xbox stuff on it. And we'll hit next and finish. Now you'll see that it's formatting. It shouldn't take too long at all. I mean, it is 4 terabytes, so it might take a little bit. <laughs> There it is, healthy primary partition. And if I go over here, we can see that we now have a four terabyte usable drive. All right, I uh, hope this video helped you out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below and make sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.